Graham for the Cape, Al Graham for the Cape Pixie Radio. Nuclear Radio. Me and Sandro are riding in a Jaguar. You know the day destroys the night. Night divides the day. Try to run, try to hide. Bring on the to the other side. Bring on the to the other side. Bring on the to the other side. Nice, senor. We chased our pleasures here. Roundabout in Coronado, man. But look out, another door song coming up. I'm riding with my best friend Sandro. Fun to forget a restaurant. The only place in town to eat Italian food. The rest are wannabes, has beens, or trying to be. When you go there, ask for Sandro. And if you mention my name, they'll probably throw you out. But come in another door with a different hat on, and they'll let you in. Mama and Papa are coming next week from Italy, all the way from Italy, and it's and I'm, my birthday's coming up. And look out! Al Green for the Gay Pixie Radio, Riders on the Storm by the Doors. Yours truly, in happiness beyond happiness. Riders on the Storm, baby. When the producer Paul Rothschild heard this, he said, "It's cocktail lounge music." So the Doors picked up their equipment and went home to their garage and they recorded the whole album on a four track. Yes, a four track. And it was better than all of the bullshit studio apparatus of Electra and Paul Rothschild, the producer, pedantic little pimp, was that concerned. And this is the result. Riders on the storm. Into this house we're born. Like a dog without a bone, and actor out alone, riders on the storm. Couldn't get much better, me and Sandro riding across the bridge to the Doors music in a bloody Jaguar. My friend Sandro here saved my life. He doesn't admit it, but he did because one day I was an angry man. Very angry man. And he gave me some words of wisdom that I changed my life. A younger man, I'm 80, he's uh, 23. And he said to me, Tell him what you said to me that day that, that gave me a chance to think and breathe properly. I said to you, I'll close the book and open another one. <laughs> Don't a- leave a. Uh, that book anymore. Change, close the book, 
Open a new book, right? I think about the future. Never thinking about the past. Yeah, because he himself struggled. He had a lot of upset and up and down. One time at his pinnacle, he built the most magnificent club. And the people he was working with, they didn't quite appreciate it. And so he walked away, right? Exactly. And, this, and some days, there's that old song by Kenny Rogers, you gotta know when to hold them, know when to fold them, know when to walk away, and know when to run. And Sandro walked away, and for that, he was a, his life changed for the better. Even though it looked like the worst time, it was actually the best time. Oh, yeah. Why was that? Ah, it was uh, a good change. Yeah, he'll simply say it was a good change, but it was a, a wrenching change. It was, a, a, it was like he put his whole life into this thing, and it, it was such a great success that people thought they did it, right? Uh, they they exactly. thought they were the ones who exactly. did it. But when you left, what happened then? Happiness is in the things you're gonna do, not in, in the things you've been doing. Hey, the journey versus the destination, right? Exactly. So these people who thought that they built what you built, they, they inherited it, but then what happened to them? They're still going. The, the same way? Yeah, the same way. Nah. Maybe, maybe... I don't know. He didn't care, he just moved on. <laughs> yeah, it's like a page. You turn it on the other side and you have a new one in front of you. Well, that's a difficult task because a lot of people hang on to what they wanted and they thought was the right thing. And it was actually the best thing to do is, just like you said, turn the page. Yeah. Move on because otherwise you, you're bitter and angry like I was, by the way. Bitter and angry, and a younger man mentored an older man. He gave him wisdom when the older man was blind. He's angry and blind, and when you're angry, you're blind. Because what's right in front of you is more important than what was behind you, right? Yeah. When you turn the other page, it's a new life. It's like all of the stuff that you thought you wanted, you didn't want it. You, need, you needed to move on. And that's what I did, thanks to this young man here. And so, we're back with the doors doing Riders on the Storm. It's a pencil antique. Riders on the Storm. Now I don't. Remember, I, yeah. I, I joined in the old way. Yeah. Into this house we're born. Into this world we're strong. Like a dog without a bone. Back around a bone. Riders on the storm. a little bit like Liberace to some people, but to me it's cool as ice. So you, that DJ thing you play at the little, that kind of added another dimension to the bar, to the restaurant, didn't it? Yeah. It's kind of like, uh, it's not a nightclub, it's, but it's more like a speakeasy. When you, when you get behind a radio station and you start playing your music, which is what you like, by the way. You like techno? Or tell me what you like. I like all the music. It depends on the. It depends of the period. It depends of the the mood. The, at the not at the time, you mean? Uh, right the, now, house music. Yeah, it's kind of cool though because it's a small place, but it has an ambiance that's different than anywhere that I've been. In fact, it's because of you that the you built this more like it's your house. It's your, it's not a restaurant, it's not a bar, it's not a club. It's like, it's reflecting you more than it is. And I think people like that. And I thought for a long time, well, it's the people in the bar. 
But it's not the people. The people come up and they see what's in the book and they react. So it's a combination of what you created and what they are and they come to enjoy it. So you can't get that anywhere, senor. In San Diego, go, I swear to God, go to any club, you'll find generi. Como se dice in Italiano, generi, regular. Regular, yeah, regular. Yeah. And Italiano? Uh, we use the same. Regular. Or, regular. Uh, re solito. Solito. Okay. Single. Like solid. Solitary. No, it's solito, it means uh, the same. Oh, the same, yeah. Well, if you go into the market, they have a brand in their store called Generico. Generico. I mean, yeah. ordinary. This is nothing ordinary about Coronado, San Diego, riding over the bridge with somebody who means more to me. Yes, in a little, in a one minute, we had a conversation. And my whole life changed because I'm 80, I'm supposed to have the wisdom. He had the wisdom for me at that moment, huh? It could have been another day, maybe I didn't listen, but you, that moment my window was open and you said the right thing to me. Yeah. Changed my life, changed me. We're now entering the San Diego city limit. Population 1 million, 130,000. Well, when I came here, it was 560,000 people. That's all was here. It hasn't grown that big, but look at what it's become. In Los Angeles, it's what is known as a megalopolis, which is 160 cities, all just crammed into this incredible space. And yet, I can take you there. In fact, I can take you anywhere I've ever been, including London, and not find a more unique little I'm going to call it an enclave, a little tiny place where there's only one of a kind. Uh, in England we call it exclusive pattern, which means one of a kind. You can try all of your life to try to make what is now, we, we call it the Re Coronado Nado Republic, short for Coronado, Nado Republic. In one year, two years actually, He's made it, transformed it from a little wine bar, which is what it was, you could only serve wine at that time, into a five-star nightclub, restaurant, speakeasy, whatever you want to call it. I am ranting about it because look at the topography of where we are. Look at the unique place it is, Coronado, which means the crown. I wear the crown everywhere I go. In fact, it is my insignia, the crown. And I'm from England, and he's from Italy. And if that doesn't look like the seven hills of Rome, doesn't it? Look at that, seven hills above there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I did nine, but I'm saying it's seven. In Rome, there's a place called Seven Hills. In Australia, they call it. Seven Hills because it's named after Rome. Back to the door. I'm going on here about 13 minutes. My segments are only about 15 minutes. This one's going a little short, but I'm going show you what we, are, what we said, what we did, and who we are. in Mexico and uh, down here you'll see the beautiful murals that the Spanish culture has uh, left for us. In fact Los Angeles originally was settled by the governor of uh, Albuquerque, a Spanish governor by the name of 
Neve, Governor Neve, who sent out a group of people to found a little tiny place in Los Angeles called the Queen of the City of the Angels, which is now the City of the Angels. But the original name was that. Now look at here. The art and the culture of the Spanish community in San Diego is, uh, well, at one time they used to own it all until we took it away from them. But do you ever heard the word gringo? Gringo, yeah, that means, people say gringo, that means getaway American, but it actually, the name came from when the Americans came across the border, they had green uniforms on. And the Mexican people would write on the wall, green, go home. So, and then it, evalu it, it evolved to green, go. So it was actually green, go home. But now, my friend, the Spanish have taken it back. They own downtown San Diego. It is back the way it was when Pancho Villa took it in 1920, I believe. And we're rolling downtown in the Spanish area, and uh, I'm on the way for a very important appointment. My friend in this Jaguar is taking me, so it's kind of like I'm getting a royal treatment today, and I have not shut up since, and I probably will never shut up. But look at where we are. Yeah, we're going to the... Straight down, straight down. Straight down? Yeah, we, uh, this was once a blighted area. Now it's all fixed up. I love me some downtown San Diego, but it's not a patch on my community Coronado. Check out the difference. And check out Sandro, owner of Nardo Republic and his partner, Giorgio. Two great men from Rome. They are Romans. And they came here, Veni Vidi Vicky. I came, I saw, I conquered. And they came and they saw and they conquered and they conquered Coronado. And I, there's a little area where they hang out, their restaurant, I call it Coronado's Little Italy. And that's what it is. Keep your mojo riding, baby.
on keeping on. And don't forget to visit Nado Republic. It's at 10 and C Avenue in Coronado. Sandro is the owner. Bidi bidi bidi. And his partner, Giorgio. Cool people, cool food, cool atmosphere. And I thank you.